So we heard it again and again. Objects with the same mass fall with the same speed. If I drop a 1 kilogram bowling ball, it will hit the ground at the same time as a 2 kilogram bowling ball. Or if I drop a hammer and uh, a feather in vacuum, they will hit the uh, ground at the same time. How about that? So do objects fall in the same speed no matter their mass? Well actually, not quite. You can argue that heavier objects actually fall faster than lighter objects. The collision time is faster. So what's going on? Well, do you remember this equation? This is the force of gravity between two objects of mass 1 and mass 2. It's just their masses times the gravitational constant over the distance squared. So, if we drop the hammer, let's see what happens. First, we are looking at the force on the hammer, so let's switch the index to hammer. Next, pretend we are dropping the hammer just a little bit above the radius of the Earth. So let's insert the radius of the Earth. We have the mass of the Earth and the mass of the hammer. According to Newton's second law, the force on the hammer is the acceleration on the hammer times the mass of the hammer. So let's insert that. So we can see that the mass of the hammers cancels Goodbye. And if you plug in the numbers, well, then we get 9.8 meters per second. That's the gravitational acceleration on Earth. Nice. 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 But wait a minute. Couldn't we just do the same analysis for the Earth? Yep. And the result will look like this. So we see the acceleration on the Earth depends on the object we drop, of course. But it's so weak, it will take forever to accelerate the ground up to the object we drop. I know the palm tree will also follow the ground, it's just easy to see that the ground is actually accelerating up. I've simulated the hammer drop here in red, into the earth drop blue, far above into the space. It's just going to fall down, like always. Let's try that again, but in a frame of reference of the hammer. But what if we increase the hammer's acceleration field? We just saw that the, how fast the earth will accelerate up to the hammer depends on the mass of the hammer. So what if we, instead of dropping a hammer, we drop a neutron star? You know, a neutron star, that's the corpse of bigger stars after it burned out. It has an extreme density. And so if a neutron star has a radius of 147 meters, its mass will be equivalent to the earth mass. So what if we drop something that has the mass of Earth into the Earth? Well, it will be way faster than something like a 1 kilogram hammer. This will be the result. And in the frame of the neutron star, we'll see this. And compare that to the hammer, you can clearly see the collision time is way faster for heavier objects. And so it kind of falls faster, doesn't it? So just to clarify, the bigger the mass, the more the Earth will also fall into the falling object, causing a lower collision time. But for how much? Well, according to this equation by David Zett, a physics exchange, a hammer of 1 kilogram falling 1 meter will take about this much time, 0.45 seconds. Do you know how long time it would take to drop a hammer of 2 kilograms? Well, me neither, because I don't have enough decimal values in Python to calculate this. But if I dropped an object of 1 billion kilos instead of 1 kilo, the collision time will take this much time. Notice here there's almost no difference in collision time with the hammer. But if I dropped a Newton star with the same mass of the Earth into the Earth, well, 1 meter will only have a collision time of 0 0.319 seconds. So yeah, I know this is a little bit annoying trying to redefine falling but it's very interesting, I think. So thanks for watching. Consider supporting these physics videos on Patreon or subscribe for more physics.